It's adventure time, come on, grab your friends. We're off to very distant lands. With Jake the dog and Finn the human. With fun will never end. It's adventure time. Hey everybody, welcome back to Adventure Time. We are starting off case number three here. And as usual, when we start off a new case, we're going right to the radio and seeing what kind of news is on the reports. Stachy's dancing and he don't care who knows it. A dancing uncontrollably throughout all the room. The Veritas Brigade is looking into a tip that Princess Bubble. Uh oh. Getting tired. Ah, Stachy's tired of dancing. Oh, somebody please make it. Uh oh. Dancing. Stachy's dancing and he don't care who knows it. Sounds like dancing fever has hit the land of Ooh. For better or for worse, we better investigate. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. Is we're gonna take a here. Everybody dance now. Everybody dance now. Hey! 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 Oh, that's creepy. It's Lemon Grab. Alright, it's the Lemon Guy. Ben, ben. I hear music in my brain, and it's making me want to dance. <laughs> me too. It's kind of fun. <laughs> um, I can't stop. Yeah, me either. I'm thinking this is probably a bad thing. The ticker type said everybody dance. Think this is happening to everybody? Yay! Bimo is in permanent dance mode. Oh, Bimo. I'm going to say yes. Jake, we got to find out what's causing this. But first, we need to find a way to keep that music out of our brains. Do we have any earplugs? That music's in our brains, man, not our ears. What we need is psychic earplugs. Is that even a thing? No, but I have an idea. Remember that recipe for that killer seafood dish that Prismo gave us that time? Yeah, pickled sonic squid tentacles. Gave me weird psychic dreams for a week. Yeah, psychic dreams. It affects your brain, dude. Bet if we stuck a couple of those tentacles in our ears, it'd fuck up the head music. <sighs> it's worth a try. We should have all the ingredients to cook up a batch. Guess we better get started. Woo! Dance party! I guess we better go find the kitchen. Is this the kitchen? What's that? Thank you, crystals. That's not the kitchen, but it sounds important. Alright. Um, that was downstairs, right? Super spicy hot sauce. That's not, uh, oh, okay. I'm not gonna I'm not use, gonna that, use coffee. that coffee. That was way too sweet. Cheese. Why is there cheese everywhere in this game? I keep finding Sonic cheese. squid tentacles. Six of them. Just when we need it. Okay. Oh, uh, hot sauce? The ingredients will just burn if we don't get some water first. Oh. I guess that's why you're the boss. Um, there should be a sink. Why would I, why do, would that? I do that? Where's the sink? There it is. No, it's a freezer. Son of a bitch. It's probably like, where is it? I'm missing it. I know it. Stove. Looks hot. Looks hot. Maybe the bathroom. There we go. Done. Done. One pot of water. water. Ready for board. Cool beans, man. One dash, One dash of PB super spicy hot sauce. Oh, what the heck? A whole floor. A couple of couple chunks of, of Psychic of Crystal for mystical goodness. I don't think so. I can't throw Jake in there. Two ingredients, two ingredients down, down, two to go. What am I missing? Did I get the ingredients? Did I get the tentacles? 
I knew we had some frozen sonic no, wood tentacles. Only six left. It'll have to do. Oh, well, that's nasty. Yoink. Six frozen six sonic frozen squid tentacles. They're the hero of the dish. Okay. That should be it. Only one Only more one ingredient, ingredient to go. go. Starting to smell tasty. Too bad we're putting these in our ears. Oh. Uh. Maybe, I'll, Maybe take I'll take a bath, take a bath later. later. Vinegar. vinegar! Can't pickle Can't anything without vinegar! What? Oh, why is there vinegar in the bathroom? That's weird. Put that in there. Plenty of, Plenty of vinegar. vinegar! Nobody oh. wants half pickled sonic squid tentacles. And I don't think wow. anybody wants. One batch of pickled sonic squid tentacles. Yeah. All right. Nice. <sighs> Here goes nothing. Hey, Jake, it works. I can't hear the brain music anymore. That's awesome, dude. Um, how about handing me that other pair? Oh, yeah, sure. Phew, that is so much better. Now we can hear ourselves think, and we have an extra pair we can give to anybody we need to talk to. Where should we start? Let's talk to Marceline. She knows more about music than anybody we know. Hey, Come the on, vampire! Jake. It's time right. to solve another mystery. Yay, it's a um, vampire mystery time. Yay. Oh man, oh, man. Just, just like we like thought. thought. That crazy oh, brain music is affecting everybody. We're gonna have to talk to PB and Marceline one at a time. We only have one extra set of psychic earplugs. Well, let's get started. We need answers, Jake. Phew. Thanks, Ben. That's much better. Marceline, you know more about music than anybody we know. You gotta help us. Sure, I'll try. So, what are you and Phoebe up to? Well, we were jamming. Now we're dancing. Kind of obvious, Finn. Yeah. Where's Duh. this music coming from? I don't know, Finn. You heard it. Sounds like it's coming from inside your brain, but since everybody hears it, we're definitely not imagining it. Have you ever heard anything like this before? <laughs> no, but I studied magical music theory for a while at a decent school in the Nidosphere. Only a magic instrument or a really powerful magic spell could make music that affects so many people at once. Jake and me are gonna do our best to find out who's doing this, but if we don't, is there anything we can do to maybe drown it out? Uh, I think so. I'm pretty sure a really powerful, sustained, atonal sound at the exact opposite harmonic frequency could be enough to disrupt the music. I'm not a music major, um, that sounds hard. Huh? Yeah. A really said. awful noise that's the opposite of music would make the music go away. And I mean major bad. But that would probably be worse than the music. I mean, at least we're dancing now. Who knows what effect the noise would have on us? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, okay, thanks, Marceline. Thanks, we'll figure something out. You might want to be quick about it. All this dancing's making me hungry. And you know how I am when I get hungry. The psychic earplugs are still working. Marceline still isn't dancing. I'm gonna need the earplugs back now, Marceline. Ben, what are you doing? Do something to help us. Yeah. Don't worry, Jimmy. Jake and me are here to help. But we don't know where to start. I'll tell you whatever I can, Finn. Is everybody in Ooh affected by this crazy music? As far as I can tell, yes. I managed to get a call through to Peppermint Butler. He said the whole Candy Kingdom is one big dance party. Well, there's nothing wrong with a dance well, party. Is it really so bad if people are dancing all the time? I mean, it is good exercise, and we might get used to the music. Yeah! We could maybe just make the best of it and go for the all-time marathon dancing record. That would be awesome! No, Jake, it wouldn't. Everybody would eventually collapse from exhaustion. It has to be stopped. Oh man, party pooper. What about making more psychic earplugs? They seem to work. There aren't enough sonic squid in all of Ooh to make that many pairs of psychic earplugs. And even if there were, those things smell awful. Any idea where the music is coming from? 
When all of this first started, I managed to get a few readings before the dancing got intense. Something out in the hills to the south made my chromatometer go totally diatonic. Maybe you should go take a look out there. All right, princess. We'll head out to the hills and see what we can find. Thanks. Yeah. Please hurry, guys. I'm afraid if we don't stop this soon, everyone in Ooh is gonna dance themselves to death. Don't sweat it, PB. We'll get to the bottom of this. Well, at least that there'll just be a lot of candy lying around. Right. Dead candy people. Is it bad Sorry, to eat Princess. candy people? I gotta take back the earplugs. We're gonna go with probably. Probably bad to eat candy people. Are we up here? No. <laughs> Who the hell are you? candy man, dance! <laughs> Yes, <laughs> Please, the hands. Make it stop! Ha! Magic man! We should have known you were behind this! Yeah, yeah. you'd think I'd kind of be your first guess at this point when stuff like this happens. Why are you doing this, magic man? Because I'm magic man! And I'm a jerk. Seriously though, people like to dance. I'm just giving the people what they want. Did you actually ask them if they wanted it? What? And ruin the surprise? Yeah. Can't you see that you're hurting people? They can't dance forever. I see it as helping people. Helping people realize what a jerk I am. I think it might be working. I think everybody already knows what a jerk you are, Magic Man. Well, it never hurts to be sure. I don't know who this guy is, You're but I don't like You're always doing him. jerky stuff like this. Don't you have anything better to do? Oh, let me think. Nope, my schedule's pretty much wide open. Magic Man, sounds come like on! You've got to stop this. from the old cartoons. Stop yeah. it! Why don't I do that? If I do that, things would probably get worse. If you won't stop this, we're gonna make you stop! Oh, you guys are just adorable! Make me stop, please. Anyway, oh I'm telling God. you, if you think people are unhappy now, you won't believe how unhappy they'll be if the music stops. But I can see you don't believe me. Tell you what, I'll prove it to you. Try to keep up. You know, what? I really don't like that guy. Yeah, well, I guess we better follow him. Somehow, I don't think he's gonna make it very easy. Yeah, I'm gonna be a jerk. A jerk, a bully even. But for now, it's now. Yeah.
killed you. Ooh, you look awful. And this treasure hall leaves much to be desired. Yeah, I'm Skronk the math out. But we totally own those guys if we try it again. Nah, I don't want to try again. For the sake of the story, we'll just continue. This. Gonna take a, take a long time, time to kill a swarm of bees with a sword. It'd be funny though. What's this? Looks like that Looks door like that leads door into, into a mine or something. Or something. Oh, I, I can't find that door open with a sword. When does anything ever good come from going into a mine? Oh, there's a well. What do I get? Hammer. hammer. Weird. Hammer? I've never I've heard never of a heard hammer, hammer well. well. Most of them just have water. Um. Alright then, what's up here? Magic, Magic man. man! Oh, oh hey, hey, you're here just in time. See this candy guy? Yeah, yeah. he looks miserable. <laughs> but if I change things, he could be more miserable. <laughs> what? <laughs> See, much worse. Follow me whenever you can. <laughs> this is fun. He's right. This is worse. Help! <sighs> Come on, Jake. Let's get that candy guy down. We gotta lower him onto something stable so we can get out. Uh, there's a lot going on here. Oh, what's this? It's one of those, one steering, of those steering wheel things. Wheel things. Like, in like in that truck we fixed, fixed that time. That time. I keep forgetting that Adventure Time is like post-apocalyptic, I think. Because like he doesn't Yeah, yeah. that door that is door he doesn't not know moving. what like basic things like trucks are. There's some There's boards some covering, the covering the mine shaft, but they look kind of shaky. shaky. Hmm. Hmm. All right. I don't think we can do anything here for now. Sorry, guy. I'll come back. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't think that's working very well. Do, 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 do. I feel like I'm missing something. I've got to be missing something. Looks like Looks those like honeybees have a pretty good hive going. Sticking my hand in a beehive would not be one of my better ideas. Ah, come on. Beehive. Bet that thing's loaded with honey. No way, dude. I'm done messing with any more beehives. When I grabbed that one in the Candy Kingdom, the bees tried to pollinate my face. Yeah. Okay, so I guess I can't. I guess I can't make him do that a second time. Why would I, Why do, would that? I do that? Wait a minute. I think I, I think I know what I have to do. The boards. Did I ever get that hammer that I found? Or did I just leave it there? I just I left. I can always use a hammer. Again. Okay, now we go back. I think this might work. That's what I messed up before. There! That should be stable enough to hold the minecart. We can try lowering it now. There! there! That wheel that should wheel work should just work as well as a crank! Somebody, Somebody used that rickety that. crane to hoist up the minecart. Alright, candy guy, let's get you down from there. Oh, thanks, oh, yeah! oh no! Oh no! That didn't go to plan well, at all. That went south pretty fast. 
Yeah, but it sounds like the mine door is open now. So, that's good. Cool! Nice! Aw, oh, man. Is there anything else up here whatsoever? Nothing? Oh, what's this? That's a witch, that's a witch hazel, hazel bush. bush. PB told me one time that stuff is good for medicine. Oh. Well, that'll come in handy. Okay. I'm free! I'm free! Sort of. Thanks, Pretty Jake. Gotta run! Uh, dance! No problem, Candy Dude. Yoink! Yoink! Yoink, indeed. I guess we can go in here now. Tree trunks. Tree, Tree trunks. trunks. What are you doing way out here? Oh, Finn, oh, I was I just was having just a nice out. picnic with Mr. Pig, but he forgot the ice cream to go with the apple pie. Oh my! Then this crazy music got in my head, and I just started dancing and dancing. Yeah, me and Jake are trying to fix that. Did you happen to see? Magic man! Yeah, him. Still keeping up, good. But I can see you're still not convinced that there are worse things than dancing. A picnic alone is definitely worse than dancing, but I'm happy to fix that. Ah, oh, man, again? But even worse is a picnic with fire ants. Oh, oh man, you just this guy's hold a on, you magic jerk. All showing up uninvited and bringing ants to a, a picnic? Magic jerk, yeah, the weird little elephant gets it. And you, and you will, will too, too, soon. Don't give up, you're almost there. That guy really needs a hobby. I think this is his hobby. Ugh, come on, guess we're gonna have to deal with those fire ants. And we're not going that way. Um. I think, so. I don't think so. Don't touch, don't touch him, Finn. Him. Fire ants bite. What do I have? Sunflower jar. Um. All right. The sunflower, the sunflower would definitely, would definitely distract, distract the bees. The bees. I don't want them following me. I must be able to do something. Jar? That combination, that combination definitely ain't working. working. No, I can't put that in a jar. All right then. Did I miss something? What's that? That's a mushroom. I don't want a mushroom. It's nasty. Oh, I have been missing something over here. Maybe not. Oh, what the hell is that? That'll work. That'll work. The bees are bees already headed toward it. The nest should be safe for honey gathering. Oh, this isn't gonna go well at all, is it? There we, there go. we go. One jar of honey. Huh, it worked. You got all the honey you need, dude. Don't be greedy. <laughs> I guess that works. Cool band. Back over here. What was that? Um. That must that be the must fire, be the ant's, fire nest. ant's nest. All right. Good idea, dude. All that honey is luring them back to their nest. 
Mathematical! Cool! Okay. That's a very weird thing to... <laughs> Hey, tree trunks, tree trunks is safe from the ants now. Thank you, Finn and Jake. Can I talk to her? I just oh, hope you go and make the magician man pay for what he's been doing out here today. Oh, he's gonna pay. You don't piss off tree trunks. Thanks again, Finn and Jake. No offense, but I hope I don't see you guys again for a while. It's up here. Forest wizard. Just in time for another lesson. Oh. Come on, man. Another thing that could be worse than dancing constantly. Is being trapped in a hedge. Ah, uh, not again. Why me? Well, I guess it could be worse. A hedge made of poison ivy. No, oh, it's worse. Oh. <laughs> it is so bad. Don't let a little rescue little mission stop person. you. You might still be able to catch me. Darn you, magic man! Guys! A little... Ah, help here! Quiet, forest wizard. What's up? Forest, forest wizard. wizard! Man, that guy really gets around. Can't talk. Can't talk. Dancing! Oh, yeah. Thanks. That crazy music was interfering with my potion making biz. We're actually glad to see you, Forest Wizard. We're trying to fix this dancing thing, but Magic Man keeps messing with us. Hey, you stopped me from dancing, at least for now. I totally owe you one. I'll help in any way I can. Magic Man has trapped a candy person in a big wall of poison ivy. That bastard. That's very uncool. You can't just pull him out. He'd still be all itchy. What are you doing out here? I wanted to get outside and get some fresh air. Unfortunately, I have really sensitive skin. So I'm brewing up some sunscreen potion in my magical distiller. Potions explode sometimes, so it's best to do this stuff away from other people. Well, the voice acting for a forest wizard isn't Do you have good. any spells that can cure poison ivy itch? No. no. Skin, skin problems are more of a potion thing. Can you make a potion that will cure the candy person's itchy so we can get him out of the hedge? That would take a while to brew from scratch. Hmm. Wait! Wait. My sunscreen okay. potion is the same basic formula. It's just missing one key ingredient. What ingredients do we need? Uh. Well, well really, really, the most important thing is witch hazel. That stuff cures yeah, just about anything. I have that. Okay. What do we need to do? If you add some witch hazel to the sunscreen potion, it will make a perfect cure for poison ivy itchies. Or it'll blow up, or both. It's hard to tell. Sometimes wizard science is more art than science. Cool! Thanks, Forest Wizard! Yeah! Let's just give him that. Here goes nothing. Hey, it worked! We made the Witch Hazel Potion! Yeah! It went amazingly well, considering how things usually go for us in situations where things might explode. Looks like the psychic earplugs are doing their thing. Force Wizard can probably talk now. I'm gonna need the earplugs back before we go. All right, I'll take that. Take that. Hey, buddy. Just give me something to stop the engine, and I'll get out of my own. Now that we have that witch hazel potion, we can get him out of there. Here you go, man. You can come out of the hedge now. Algebraic! Yeah! Uh. Thanks, guys. I'm normal again. Well, you said for the whole dancing thing. All right, now what do we gotta do? Snail! What a happy, happy little, little snail. snail. All right, so that's... I was, I was keeping an eye out for snails, so I think that might be our first one for this particular... Um, look, it's look, Magic Man's house. house. This must be where he's been leading us. I can All always right, go Magic back and Man, look him up later. Show yourself! No need to yell, I'm right here. 
It's time to end this. So, you're ready to admit there are worse things than dancing forever? What? No, the dancing is bad. It has to stop. Really? And I thought I did such a good job. I must be losing my touch. All you proved was that you can be an even bigger jerk than you were when you started this dancing biz. Yeah, man, you've had your fun. Now you gotta make it so they don't hear that music in their heads anymore. Hmm. Hey, you know what? That's a great idea. Done. No more music in their heads, no more dancing. You're right, this is way more fun. Although I don't think your formerly dancing friends would agree. Exhibit A. <laughs> Magic man out! Oh, it was down! An awful noise! Way worse than the music! Guess we should take out these earplugs and hear it for ourselves. Yep, that's worse than music, all right. Yeah, at least it's not making us dance. Hey, guys, if you're not gonna use those earplugs anymore, uh... Huh? huh? Oh, sure, man. Knock yourself out. Well, well, I guess awful. now we have to find out what's making this new noise. I think we just did. Okay, please, please stop that. Please stop that. I don't like that. What do you, what do want? you want? Lemon Grab, we need to we talk, need to, talk to, you. to you. Why is the lemon head making that horrible, horrible noise? noise? The sweet lemon songs call to my sound sword. Through their melodious vibrations, the location of the sword will be revealed. Oh, that's horrible. What are you doing so far stop. away from Castle Lemon Grab? You usually don't like to go outside. My property has been stolen. My beautiful, beautiful sound sword! I will walk around the kingdom in hopes of finding the ones who have deprived me of my pretty article! Could you make the lemon head stop singing? Really annoying, dude. No! The lemon songs will continue until my sound sword is found and returned to me! Were you affected by the brain music earlier? I mean, you must have heard it. Yes, the noise was unbearable. The dancing was offensive to us. It was unacceptable. Hey, hey, how about if Jake and me help you? Maybe we can find your sword and bring it back. You would help me? Hmm. That is acceptable. Well, if we agree to help you, would you make the singing stop just for a while so we can concentrate? Mm, yes, acceptable. But I have already sent all of my lemon gentry to all of the far corners of Ooh. Oh. If my sword is not found, the lemon song will commence again for oh, all no. to hear. I don't know. And it will continue for 100 years. That's okay. 100 years singing. Phew. Thanks. Oh, thank okay, God. so where should we start? Oh. I will start by returning to Castle Lemon Grab, where I will wait impatiently as you incompetently but obediently do my bidding. Guess we should have seen Thank that God one coming. You should start on the other side of the grasslands. Take the left fork through the forest. But keep an eye on Leroy, because I'm afraid that he's possessed. Huh? What are you talking about? This conversation is at an end. Come, my lemon minion. Looks like being sewn together from two different lemon grabs didn't change that guy much at all. He's still weird. Pretty unpleasant. <sighs> Whatevs. Guess we'd better get started finding that sound sword. Uh, that was the most unpleasantly horrible thing I have ever heard. Are you sure Are you that sure was the that right, that right path, path, dude? Lemon Grab said take the left fork. But with that guy, you never... Hey! Look where we are! The house you built for Flame Princess. I thought she didn't come here anymore now that she's in charge of the Fire Kingdom. She must be here on vacation or something. I should. We. We should go talk to her. Um, you know, about the sound sword and stuff. Ben, keep your mind on a mission. You got a job to do. Focus. Sure. Sure. Yeah, totally.
Oh, this isn't gonna go very. This isn't gonna go well at all, is it? Okay, so in the next episode, we are going to talk to the flame princess and woo her with our manly charms until she decides to be our wife. Because that can't possibly backfire in any way whatsoever. As always, guys, thank you for watching Finn and Jake Investigations, and thank you for watching my videos, and I will see you next time. Hey, baby. Um, hey, um, hey Flame Princess. Hey, how's, baby. how's it going? What's up? Hey, I'm gonna kiss. Hey, what's up? Oh, Finn. I'm so glad to see you. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's great! Yeah. Finn, focus. I didn't mean to start this. Yeah, yeah. right. Focus. <laughs> I didn't mean to start this. Okay, there we go. All right, see you guys next time.